My name is David, and I'm 19 years old, and I live in Brazil. I started the Thrive program eight weeks ago, and I decided to look after it because emetophobia was just getting worse. All the symptoms were getting worse. I used to have panic attacks, you know, almost every day, every week. So I sent Rob an email, and he passed me to James. And James was a really nice guy. I mean, he was a very good consultant helping me with the payment and the exercises and talking to me and getting me through the book. And, well, we get to answer three quizzes. And the first one is the locus of control, where I scored 19 out of 30. And after the program, I scored 4 out of 30. So that means that I became more, you know, internal and started to believe that I can cope with situations and I can process things internally instead of always thinking that things are happening to me and they are external and I cannot do anything to cope with them. And the second quiz uh, is the self-esteem quiz and I scored 30% and in the end of the program I scored 80%. So that means that I started to be a better person to myself. I mean, I I was very hard. I, I, I really was very hard to myself and I did not like, you know, my my phobia and you know maybe my personality and all these see I, I did not see my qualities and I started to see and started to self accept so that's really important and the third quiz was the social anxiety quiz where I scored 55 percent and in the end of the program I scored 15 percent so that means that I stopped worrying about other people's judgment and just you know worry about myself my thinking about myself and just being fine with it. So, what can I say about the Thrive program? It's not easy. It's not easy to put effort in it. And, you know, it's really to understand the theory, the exercises, but it's not about understanding. It's about, you know, constantly putting effort in it. And uh, it's not easy to challenge yourself because it's so much easier to think that things are happening just to you and you cannot do anything. That's not the life I wanted, and that's not the life you want. I know it. You must think that you are safe in the position you are right now, if you are emetophobic. But you know that you aren't. You know that, you know, emetophobia is just, you know, taking your dreams out of you and your happiness out of you. And you are always worried, always being anxious. I never thought that I could stop a panic attack like I'm doing right now. And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm miraculously cured. It's not that. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to thrive. But that's the point. I'm trying, you know, and uh, I see the results. I see that I'm not anxious the way I was. I'm starting to eat better and to do things better. I study medicine. I started med school. And I can honestly say that I never thought it would be easy, but I never thought it would be that hard because you know, a metaphobia got worse this year, and I decided that I needed help. And I want, if I, if I will quit med school, it's just going to be for the right reasons, because I did not like my choice, you know, like any other student, but not because of metaphobia, not because of this fear. And I'm a living proof that a metaphobia affects people all around the world, not only UK or USA, and that it affects both genders, it can affect male too even if it's, you know, the vast majority are for males. If you are a boy, a man like me, just, you know, search for help. And, you know, all I can say is you're a fighter just to be watching this video. And I'm really sorry that you are going through these things, you know, because nothing can be worse than a metaphobia. I honestly do not think that there is something that can be worse. But you can do something. You can start doing something. So start thriving. Start looking for help. And, you know, I just wish the best for you. I just wish the best for you. And that's it. You can do it. I believe in you. Start believing in yourself. Thank you.